is once again I am going on a premeditated picking trip with boots and all and once again uh, I am going to capture some of the late summer stuff just because I like it I know this is going to sound really cheesy but um, this kind of setting like where it's warm enough that you don't have to worry about it but not that that hot that you do have to worry about it and you're sort of strolling around uh, with a mild purpose uh, on your way to a simple task that you have chosen to do and sort of in no hurry whatsoever and, uh, and a little bit of wind and all that it's like <laughs> that's what freedom feels like I'm throwing in some falcon cries for a good measure I guess that's why I'm so eager to capture uh, my little uh, walks and uh, foraging tours just to sort of share that wonderful feeling and maybe, I don't know, invoke it in someone else as well. Like I said, it's gonna sound really, really cheesy. Wait, I think I got too far because the raspberry clearing... Hello Raven! Uh, the raspberry clearing that I'm looking for did not have the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did not have the uh, high tension towers at it. I think I need to go a few steps back. I didn't realize these were still up. I mean, most of the electrical systems here have been replaced by underground cables. So yeah, if I go in from that clearing, it's too early. If I go in from here, it's a little bit too far, so I have to pick one of these logging roads. Onward! So, to recap the fork on the road from a few days ago, I'm going here this time, because this is taking me straighter through the woods. And catch me a damn box! This is the spot! I can already smell raspberries which doesn't mean there are any left uh, that are still good enough for picking but once I get to my main spot I'm gonna find out Well, there are some Oh, I'll set my base camp here at this heathery patch and head in with a smaller jar Looks like the raspberry season is about to end pretty soon. I mean, we're still gonna find some, some berries, but not in massive quantities, like now. I am deeper inside this field now, and oh my, the berries here are so much bigger and so much sweeter. Right, with two boxes full, I'm going to head over uh, down that clearing over there and see if I can find some bluebirds as well. Like there was this uh, really, really rich spot that I decided not to pick last time because it's quite close to a farmhouse and I was wondering that maybe they want to, you know, <laughs> get the first chance to pick from there. They haven't by now, then I think it's fair to check it again. Just a little rest stop. Mm. The bluebirds are really sweet now as well. That's the up north summer sun for you. What do we have here? Well, these foxberries are ripe, all right. 
I'm going to pick them right away. Now I'm sitting in this bush of abundance. I am going to do some multitasking and be a clever bugger about it. Let's see how it goes. From the uh, depth of the woods, here comes a little bit of um, <coughs> motivational speak and commenting on on workflow and and multitasking and whatnot. While I said I was multitasking, that's not entirely true. Like this main process that I'm engaged in is still the same. I am picking berries. I'm just channeling my results into two different buckets. And uh, in relation to some recent, albeit private but very important uh, discussions on workflow and 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 continuity and whatnot. I would say that the creative process, process works similarly, in, in a way. Like, you have to keep up the main process, the main momentum, but you can channel its fruits into, into different results. Like, well, in one particular example, the, uh, the world building discussions and the direct output into any particular story your brain is still in the creative mode like you're not digging a ditch or anything and you're you're not checking your messages in, in between help but uh, but uh, you're dividing that process of channeling it into into smaller branches so it's the sort of good kind of multitasking onward Meanwhile, there are other processes or background goals in the works as well. I am actively exercising my body and uh, doing the little uh, little tasks or little uh, activities to improve my mental health as well. Being in fresh air, getting some sun. All this while also filling my pantry. Now this is the point where some fatigue kicks in, like I'm obviously making some progress but at the same time I, uh, I also experience that my pace of progress isn't maybe as, as, as steep as I would imagine and, uh, and my attention goes to wander, like I can see how the bushes are fuller further away and and when I when I reach out to those bushes to grab them they are just the same as the ones that are near here so this is where I need to apply some extra concentration to keep going because uh, I kind of don't want to go home until I have filled these two buckets so to keep up my motivation and to and to sort of help to maintain my focus, I'm going to direct my attention to the foxburs for a while because you see they grow in these big bundles that are easy to grab as opposed to blueberries where which I have to pick one by one. So once I have let my mind rest a little bit mm, on the Foxburs. I can I notice that oh my blueberry bucket is a little bit fuller and that will give me a little bit extra boost again. A little lizard. Hmm. So I will let the blueberries settle a little bit and turn my attention to the foxberries, which means I get to look all the way over here. Booyah! Ah, oh, we have a grasshopper here. So now my blueberry bucket is almost full, but still quite not there yet. 
and when I look back at the patch that I just left behind it seems so full of material. So instead I'm going to focus a little bit on the fox berries, allow myself some quick success. Picking up the crumbs as well. You see that somebody else has walked this path before. Oh gosh, I am not the original. But you know what? Fuck it, because these are the fox birds that I am looking for. Squee! The bluebirds over there are so big, I must keep going. Except... No. I have my today's objective and I will return here some other day. I will sample some, but for now I'm gonna leave those bad boys to be. And if somebody else comes and picks them, well, good for them. This was also a workflow metaphor. Interactive finishing touches. Time to start returning. I might uh, report my results when I get home. As for now, bye bye.